which is why you always go on the road with someone who can defend you or you must be able to defend yourself with proper magic for example and in the case of a bear simple advice run one word run that's all i know right get a horse to distract you and yeah either way solitude almost and there is the blue palace in the distance indigo oh and the guard tower on the front makes sense to me this will be the first time i'll properly get to see it like last time i instantly got a bag over my head very fun not i can only imagine <sighs> i do hope that entire ordeal is not going to bite me in the ass like really you'll be fine Need a ride? Uh, no i'm okay either way i want to see the harbor the docks and everything for the first time properly <laughs> let us get on with it then Catalyst farm and here we are here we are here we are oh god finally my own journey has been actually started on the place where i was going to go in the first place and i have now completed this step of the journey sure we took the other step already with going to the cause of windhold and everything but what did you find um, are you okay? No, 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 no. I do not understand. I think I just found my old ship. Nice. Yes, I'm pretty sure I found my old ship. Okay, then. They kept it here. They kept the serenity. Oh, that is great. That is absolutely great. Oh. I'm still not happy with the fact that they basically took everything away from me, but still, the serenity. They even took out the pole. That is... Really? What is it? They've got to be kidding me. Oh, no. Ship is for bloody sail? Not good. Oh. This won't do. This won't do at all. They stole this ship from me. Damned Imperials. All the goods are still here. They're selling the ship with all its contents. For 10,000 septums. Bloody hell. And of course... Yeah, there's no way for me to actually steer this right now. Because they blocked it. Can anything be done? I am... Gonna need to have a... Very harsh conversation. With the people in charge here. Definitely. I hope they can help us. Which means we are going into solitude, go to the blue palace and demand an explanation and apologies. Definitely. S still can't bloody believe it. They're selling the serenity like it's their property. It is something worth fighting for, that is for uh. sure. And sure, I have the money to pay for it, but I kind of want to refuse that. It's my ship. You are right. They did not have the right to take my ship. Only because I didn't have the proper paperwork. Ugh, how was I supposed to know with the entire war and stuff? If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricca. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here. Or you'll end up like Rogvir. Rockfear? Just in time to say hello to Rockfear. Who is Rockfear? 
He's the sorry bastard who's going to be executed. A gate guard who let Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he killed the High King. I am sorry to hear that. Ew. Yes. I might have forgotten about that entire ordeal and why they are indeed in with war with each other. Yeah. Okay, I can understand why they're a bit grumpy about everything. However, that still doesn't take away the fact that they just took my it. boats. Positions. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your money with comes. It. Hmm. Well. Traitor! You should tell her that you betrayed us. that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Atmar. Get on oh, with it! Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Liar. challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. I am not sure about this. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim. Um, in all Nords! I will follow your lead. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Yeah, okay, this is bringing back bad memories. Disgusting. Definitely. Definitely. Plus, he was completely wrong, actually. Like, yeah, it's the custom of the Nords, but King Torek wasn't a Nord. Right? I am not I don't sure. even know, but still. Yeah, challenge him to high combat and then shout him apart with the voice. <sighs> well done, Ulfric. Well done. Each to their own, I suppose. Either way, let's find someone who's in charge of the entire ordeal with the ships and stuff, and I'm gonna need to be in the palace, or at least the barracks, or something. Greetings. You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. Yes, and I'm here for some very, very important business. Perhaps you might think, but Marcus, it is just a boat. You don't even own a house yet. Your money can be spent better elsewhere. But that will be a wrong observation. The ship itself contained several resources which I brought along with me from North Point, but it also had a very interesting enchantment on it. My mentor back in North Point, Siegfried, who was the only mage who had my back, placed it on the ship personally. His conjuration allowed one to sail the ship with only a captain. No crew would be required, which made sailing that much easier, and allowed for the deck below to house a proper living quarter. I had to get my ship back, as it was also a matter of honor. Unfortunately, things wouldn't fully go according to plan. I can't believe this. Are they for real? Yes, the ship is for sale. You are indeed right, Mr. Marcus. The only problem is you do not have the proper paperwork and yeah, there might have been a mistake in regards to the whole stuff with the execution and everything, but... How could you have known? Ugh. And in order to get my boat back, I have to go to the Solitude Sawmill because apparently the person who's in charge is supposed to go there for his next visit. So we'll have to be waiting there. Ah, uh, Mr. Jeremiah Fink. I am sorry to hear that. <sighs> great. Absolutely great. Can this day get any worse? And that is not an invitation for a wild dragon to appear. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, so the Solitude Sawmill is supposed to be down this road. I think we are on the right path. 
I am sure of it. Yes, there it is. Oh, great. Is there anything we can do about it? <sighs> well, that means I'm gonna have to buy my ship back. Great. Absolutely great. Again, I have the money for it, but it doesn't mean I want to pay for it. My ship. Mine. My serenity. Do not be so hard on yourself. <sighs> well, guess we'll just wait around here. Unless Jeremiah Fink is inside, but... I kinda doubt that. Um... Greetings? Anyone around here? Um, hello? Hello? It's middle of the day. Okay, why would anyone be sleeping in the middle of the day? That is just silly. Sir? Sir? Are you Jeremiah Fink? Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Um, no thanks. I'll, I'm good. I'm definitely good. Oh, great. What is the plan? Well, guess all we can do is wait around here and... Okay, let's find a pebble so we can throw it in the water and... If you say so, I will keep an eye out. Um... Anything useful? Is that... Is that a corpse? I think you are right. Uh, you swim like a fish. Well, it wouldn't really call it swimming, but more like... Investigating a dead Khajiit. Maybe we should search them. Okay, oh. I... Guess she washed up or something. I think you are right. But, hmm. Interesting. Anything useful? And she has some strange kind of black amulet. That is pretty interesting. Nice. Okay, and a few septums, leather, books. Hmm. Okay, interesting. And this amulet, how do you think? How does it look? Beautiful. Oh. Are you okay? Are you hurt? <clears throat> Hang on. His name was Fergus. <coughs> he was brave and kind and... Story. Everyone in Sitna Mine has a tale. Mike is always in search of calibers, but he finds none. You can shout now. That can only mean one thing. You must be dragon born. Oh, what's Captain, going on? What you do is not on the list. To the block prisoner, nice and easy. Oh. the Daedra hide, the Vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. Ah, our dreamer uh, is so waking up. Loud. I'll get some water and bread. There'll be another four gold coins. Oh, God. Yes, yes. You'll get your money. Are you hurt? You're even worse than a Khajiit. Um... I have told you that he will wake up today at the latest. Easy, my friend. How's it going? Easy. You are safe. Well, you are among friends. Besides a terrible headache and... Feeling of being terribly hungry and parched and everything like that, I'm... The fever seems to fade. Uh, can you see relief. my hand? Uh, I think I can. You... Yeah, I, I can. I can see. Considering how long you were down with fever, you should be glad that you didn't grow Falmer eyes. Indeed. Wait. Question, who are you? It's because of you that I'm stuck in this jerkwater town for a week now. Um, Point taken. 
Sorry. I'll tell you if you tell me who I have to thank for that. Wait, a week? Um, well, you're not going to believe this, but I'm the Dragonborn, and you might have been taking care of me for an entire week. The Dragonborn, you say? I pictured you somewhat uh, more impressive. Yeah, everyone thinks that. I am Hurlis. If you make a deal with the Daedra, I'll plunge my sword into your chest straight away. Oh, take it easy. I have devoted my life to serving Stendhal. That's very admirable. Found you unconscious on the shore of the Karth River. Not responsive, seriously hypothermic, trembling all over. Stendar, be my witness. When I held your cold body in my arms, I... I hardly gave you an hour. Tell me, what has happened to you? I'm sure it wasn't a skeever. You had not a single scratch. Well, um, my friend Inigo and I, we were at the Soldier Tsomo, at the Karth River, and... Yeah, I saw a corpse just laying there, and he had this amulet on him. That amulet? Yes, you were wearing it. Yeah. It feels oddly heavy and radiates an unusual chill. Well, I'm taking what it off right now. What are these runes on the amulet? Undoubtedly, Daedric. Daedric? While you were down with fever, and I was stuck in this oh, hole because of you, I, uh, I tried to I decipher some more. of the runes. However, I do not have sufficient command of the Daedric language. I could only make out the name of Count Charis of Merisis. Merisis is the Breton, but nowadays hardly used term for the region west of Solitude. A count who engraves his name on some strange amulet in a Daedric tone. Very odd. Yeah. Besides, it seems to me that there is another part of this amulet. Some kind of... Uh, some kind of stone uh, to hold the hole in the middle. Okay, but what 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 does it mean? I went unconscious, and the moment I put on the amulet, Inigo found you, got help, you took care of me, brought me here with him. Yes, you are but, right. But what does this all mean? Oh, oh God! Oh, no. Not again! I have been waiting for you, Dragonborn. Your soul is powerful, mortal. It will satiate my hunger for a few days. Don't you listen to that abomination. I... I don't want that. I can't keep it from doing what it does with me. What's going on? Charis of Maris, be quiet! Your days of power are over. You are but a transient shadow, a waning memory. Nothing but a sere cloth in the wind. Your life is mine, and mine is yours. But your failures made us what we are, but now you are weak. This mortal's fate is at my disposal, and his soul will perish like all the vanished souls before. The White Claw. The ship. White Claw. This... storm. <laughs> Be quiet! The suffering the Daedra caused will not go unpunished. Take a seat and get the call Well, whatever's going on, I'm certainly suffering. Easy, my friend, easy. We were worried about you. Can you hear me? Stendar, be praised, you're alive. Are you okay? Yeah. You were unconscious again. I can notice I'm that. I'm afraid you'll have to stay here for a few more days to recover. Can uh, anything be done? Yeah, did you, did you feel it too? The icy chill, it was gone. It was, it was glowing, 
warm. This thing is dangerous. I'm almost sure that this is one of those Daedric objects. As a precaution, I should take it and let one of my friars examine it. Go ahead. We used to deal with objects like this every day. Please take it. I don't want to wear it. Well, I will show it to the experts. I'm quite sure they can solve this amulet's enigma. <sighs> okay, fine, but... Do you happen to know anything about a white claw? Um... While I was unconscious or fell down to the floor again, I heard something ab about a white claw. White claw? I, uh, I don't know. Who told you about that? I cannot tell. Sorry. Wait. What do you mean? It... It must have spoken to you. Yes? That would make sense. You have heard that voice too, haven't you? Eh... Uh, I... No. I heard words in... In some strange tongue. But it seemed distracted as if... Its attention was drawn away towards something else. But, uh... I could... I could hear a weak... No, fragile voice, whispering something about a white claw. Okay. Did you hear anything, Inigo? Not sure. Hmm. Do you think it might have something to do with these ancient Nordic claws? Like, I found a golden claw uh, inside Bleak Falls Barrows and stuff? I... I don't know. But that could be possible. I'm sorry to barge in. I couldn't avoid overhearing your conversation. Seems you have a problem there. A bit. What can one expect when messing around with magic? Well, it totally depends on how well you mess a around with magic. A few weeks ago, it was already late, and business went bad that evening. One of these sailors sat here, hooked on alcohol and dead drunk, of course. <laughs> what am I saying? These are my most treasured guests. <laughs> yes, they are. He bellowed weird stuff the whole evening. Complained to me about his buddy not showing up, mentioning a white claw again and again. White claw? If you're interested, he left yes. some notes that evening. I was about to throw them away, but for 300 gold coins, they're yours. 100 coins a chit. Really? 300 coins? How's it going? Each. <sighs> really? And you were going to throw them away? Fine, I'll take all three of them. Give them to me. Ah, brilliant. The price is right. I wish you much fun on the treasure hunt. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. This room you've been keeping occupied for quite a while now will cost you another 70 gold coins. Fine, fine, take it. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, God. Okay, um... Give me a moment, in you go. Okay, then. These notes... We'll be okay. Uh, let me see. Escardia love letter? 12th of Law Seat, 4th Era, Year 29. Dear Jonah, if Kinnereth holds faith with us, we'll see you again in Necrum, only a few more days after you receive this letter, in the usual place. Let's just hope Sarek here won't disturb us a second time. Only a few hours to go until we leave Solitude's Harbor, and we are in cheerful spirits. However, Jorik and I fear a worsening of the weather conditions over the next few days, which means sailing around the White Claw will be torture like last time. Remember Harov's accident with the broken off foremast when we had to sail back to Winterhold to repair the damage and treat his injuries? I bet those smug mages of Winterhold could have done something to secure that passage a long time ago, if they weren't as egoistic as they are. Nevertheless, I'm sure that I soon will hold you in my arms again, just like your first letter every evening while I am with you in my thoughts. In never-ending love, Orek. Okay, White Claw. Sailing around the White Claw. North of Winterhold and Windhelm. Okay, that's useful. That's really useful. And... A note, Jarek, I made good progress regarding the position of Escardia's wreck. Although the ship disappeared over 150 years ago, I was able to find several documents and notes 
which contain information about its approximate position. As I already told you, it went missing at the White Claw, that huge rock in the Sea of Ghosts, and I think we'll find the wreck either east or north of the Serpent Stone. I think with this information, we can start our search. And they have a map. Okay. Jarek, if you look through the logbook entries from Solitude on, the wreck should be at this mark. So that is where the ship, the Escardia, is. Near the White Claw. Okay, that might be worth investigating. Definitely. What is it? Excuse me, but I'm... Ugh. Here we go. You want to talk? Yeah, th thank you for actually getting help from Hurlis and... We were worried uh, about you. Just thank you. Daedric... Let us go. Daedric... Words and... Uh, bloody hell. Uh, never lucky, never lucky. Okay, um, uh, Hurlis? Hurlis? The suffering that Daedra caused will not go unpunished. Yeah, what do you think about this thing with the white claw, the ship and stuff? If my assumptions prove right, your find may help you recover a bit. One more thing. Better make haste. Experience has taught me that Daedric artifacts should never be taken lightly. No, definitely. Take this amulet of Stendar. May his hand protect you. In the meantime, I will ask my order for advice. I think I can tell you more in a few days. I'll be waiting for you in Whiterun at the Gildergreen tree. Farewell, and watch yourself. Yes, you watch yourself too, Hurlis. Well, if we want to get to the bottom of this, we're gonna have to find that wreck. And in order to do that, huh? I need my boat. Huh? We're in Dragon Bridge again. Things are not going right for, room, for me. You want the four shields. I already had the room in the Four Shields Tavern for apparently an entire week. Unplanned. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Well, I guess my previous appointment with Jeremiah Fink was cancelled. I'm pretty sure of that right now. I am ready for whatever is uh, next. Guess I have to make another appointment. If you say so.